Right then, so now that we have seen the external ports, the panel, the sides, uh, we are going to look at the actual pictures of the TV. Uh, how, how does that perform? And uh, even now, as you can see, I have got a lot of backlight uh, currently. And uh, once, once I put, put on the TV, you will come to know uh, the kind of, you know, the, the reflection just disappears. Uh, that's one of the best things that I've found in LED TVs. So that's, that's an excellent thing. There you go. So this is the HDMI which is there right now. Uh, I'm not sure if you are. Yeah, you can you can see that. I'm going to put on a, put on some more channels there so you have a idea. This is a HD channel uh, and I have a Tata Sky connection at home. So. Uh, The music, the music is basically, I, I have two speakers, I had an old speaker on which I basically use, so the, the colors definitely are excellent, I mean I, ha I really like the colors, have a look, I am not sure how well you can see this. Have a look. Okay, I'm going to take a little behind because then your Yeah, so you can have an idea of how, how the pictures are. They are really good. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I, um, I, I'm not sure if the video captures the real pictures, but uh, they, they are nice. Let me try and see. If there are some good colors. Yeah, so it has got some good colors. Have a look. The reproduction of colors is excellent. Let me tell you that. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy with it. The screen is 100 uh, hertz. So this is really good. Uh, unlike Sony in the similar range, Sony, Panasonic, I, I compared all of them, they all have 50 hertz screen, whereas this has 100 hertz screen. So the fast moving action, actually yesterday I just checked out the Formula 1, you know, I'm a big fan, so I checked that out and it was a pleasure watching, I can tell you that. Uh, so color screen, pictures, color reproduction, the blacks, the whites, oh fantastic, I, I love them. Uh, it was what I uh, yeah so they, they're really nice so now yeah I've kept it on manual focus so you know I'll have to do so let me just move ahead with with the um, smart features finally we are looking at smart TV so I'm going to show you the smart features so there you have it YouTube Google Play Google Maps sorry not play uh, Google Maps Google talk web browser Facebook fitness and then you have about thousand plus apps on Samsung App Store which are there 
uh, the, the TV has 1 GB, close to 1 GB of internal memory on which you can load a lot of apps and I have loaded quite a few of them. So there you go. So these are some of the most popular ones, Twitter, Swipe It. Swipe It is an excellent one, Picasa, Smart LED, Poly and Beyond, a lot of TV, a lot of apps are available on this TV. So. Um, if you are on internet a lot of time uh, and you watch a lot of movies, hear a lot of music, this is going to really really help. Uh, the TV also has wireless and wireline connection. So there is a LAN connection which is there. I have got it through LAN. Uh, but the TV also comes with a wireless USB hub which basically connects to your internal Wi-Fi and um, you can use the internet the way you want it and there are lots of apps I mean more than what you would require on a TV so that's an excellent thing uh, so I have installed quite a few I've used it for like four five days now and uh, one second so let me go back uh, so here are some of the channels which what did I do okay I went back it takes some time to get used to this remote. Okay, let me show you the remote. Um, so, let me just, I'm just managing this. Yeah, so I guess you can see the remote. Yeah, so this is the remote. So have a look. So you have, uh, the that colorful button in the middle and that is the that is basically the smart hub button where all the internet applications and everything happen okay so there you go so let me get back to okay i i have this on manual uh focus so this may i'm not sure if you can okay so I'm trying to focus it properly yeah there you go now let me let me show you some of the apps that I have installed mm. aqua this that play jam lot of lot of them Deccan Chronicle so I read newspaper there's only Deccan Chronicle from India right now but I'm sure a lot of more uh, news apps will come up um, if you are a music uh, lover this tuning app uh, let me just show you the tuning app uh, basically it has I think I don't know four five thousand radio channels which are there and uh, so let me give you a by the way these are my home small speakers I'll show you if I can there you go so these are small speakers which I have so there is a 10 year old one so but the, still the sound is good the inbuilt sound of or the inbuilt speakers are also really great so um, okay they are really nice the sound fantastic so you can have you know the, the channels from various different places are there I'm I have I'm just ordering uh, basically I've already ordered a 5.1 channel so these are just two not even 2.1 two channel and uh, I'm really hoping that it's going to be nice when I put those 5.1 channel speakers on this TV 
Uh, let's go back. Uh, I have. Okay, so these are the tools of you want to create a folder, you want to move some apps, you want to lock settings, app updates, um, account manager, service terms and conditions about Smart Hub. So, Smart Hub is a really great uh, smart solution on these Samsung TVs. Uh, I will not you know I'll not give 10 out of 10 but uh, it, you know it really brings internet to your TV uh, there's another app which is all share this is wonderful I mean what it does is basically uh, it gathers all the content from all the devices that are in my house which are connected to the wireless or Wi-Fi the same Wi-Fi network so it may be my PC my mobile my any other gadget let's say I have a iPod so I can play music from here I can, or some videos which are there on my PC I can directly play I don't even need a USB or something like that uh, it, if it's there on my PC you know it will show up here it will scan through uh, the network it will gather everything and uh, show it here maybe you know it may be photos it may be videos so that's an excellent thing you know it, it uh, brings everything together so that's that's all share, all share from Samsung. I think it's Samsung's own proprietary solution. Um, then you have YouTube. So let me just quickly go through the YouTube. Um, and it is the app basically. And So see if once it goes dark you come to know the amount of reflection or the amount of light which is there. But when the TV is actually on you hardly see any lights so so this is the essentially um, so let me go through comedy a bit see um, I'm just going to play something quickly so that you have an idea of how wonderful YouTube videos look uh, let me see what's on right now these are YouTube videos so now my whole uh, I can easily play YouTube videos from my computer or sorry my TV my smart TV and they are extremely clear the only problem is because it's a TV you know they, they, they play at a very high resolution and because they play at a high resolution um, it buffers a lot uh, but you can reduce the resolution and you can have a look at it and, and they are still a pleasure to watch so that's a fantastic thing yeah so let's go back um, now what mm, let me talk about uh, menu I think uh, you know uh, smart hub is great I, you, if you want to know more just ask me in comments and I'll answer all your questions so let's go back and um, have a look at the menu what does menu have picture mode standard picture mode you can have um, you know different kinds of natural standard dynamic movie and I, I like to keep it at natural uh, standard even natural is good it it is more vivid so to say okay mm. then sound sound I only I already you know they have um, external speakers so right now I will not be able to change much of the settings but for internal speakers are also excellent and you can use equalizer and a lot of other things so speaker setting SPD IF output stuff like that network settings so I'm on a wired network so it automatically finds out if you are on wireless if wireless is connected otherwise from LAN it gets so this is the status uh, IP address and stuff so it's saying wired network and internet connection settings complete so it is already on right now as you can see all share settings basically it shows all the list of devices which are connected to it right now my PC my mobile is closed so it will not show here but whichever are on at that particular point of time and their IP address it will show up Overall, I think uh, this is an excellent TV. If you have a Wi-Fi or a wireless connectivity, you can do most of the things you can imagine on a TV. 
um, on in support there's something called as e manual which which is kind of a lifesaver if you want to know something everything is available here um, it's it's a manual about the tv and what all things you can do it does self diagnosis and it also has a software update either online on air you can do i'm not going to do right now because there is an update available i did it some time back I, you know i shot this video i'm shooting this video again by the way because earlier i forgot to switch on switch on my mic so the entire video i'm reshooting again so so and at that time i had pressed online and uh, the update started happening so i have not updated it but you can do it by usb as well uh, so what else yeah i think that's about it if you have any any um, what do you call you know this i'm seeing it on the screen right now it really does not mm, uh, do justice to the kind of colors which are seen on tv because they are really great i mean i i like them and it's not reproducing exactly on my uh, video screen so anyways if you have any questions do let me know and i will be more than happy to let you know answer your questions or even shoot a video if you want to see something just let me know in the comments thanks and goodbye